So here's an interesting thrift store find. Uh, this is the Sony Watchman. Uh, very popular back in the 80s, maybe the early 90s. This is the FD240. And I found it in, its, uh, in a pretty good condition uh, with its original box uh, for only $7, so a really good find. And I was curious to see if it would work uh, at least now in 2019. So in this video I'm going to show you, I'm going to do a little unboxing, I'll show you the details about this Watchman. And I'll show you how you can still use this uh, device now in 2019, almost close to uh, 2020 by now. And uh, yeah, so here it is. Uh, it looks like it was barely even used when I got it. It has its, uh, its original box with the original bag. And let's see what comes, what else comes in in the bag. So you get the Watchman itself, and you get a little um, wristband with the stand or the device to use it as a stand. Uh, you get a little bit of piece of instructions, which I don't think we'll need, and the warranty information, which I'm sure it's already passed way past its uh, original warranty. All right, so let's take a closer look at the Watchman itself. Um, and when I got it, I was in a really good condition. It looks like it was barely even used, uh, except uh, when I opened the battery compartment, I saw that it was, some of the connections were really corroded. It looks like they kept some of the batteries in there for a long time. Uh, but I was able to clean them up really well just using some uh, water and some baking soda. So a pretty uh, easy solution for that. Uh, here's the side, you get your volume rocker, you get your power buttons, your UHF, VHF selectors, and your tuning wheel so you can change the channels. Uh, pretty straightforward and uh, about basic for this type of uh, portable televisions from the, from the 80s. And uh, yeah, the volume rocker in the top and the power button here in the, the bottom. There's also an option to use it uh, only for sound in, in case you just want to have the audio from the television and not the video. And uh, in the front of the TV, you get, of course, the little window that will let you see which channel is it on. And uh, the screen itself. This is a 2.7 inch screen uh, portable television. In the back, uh, there's a little slot uh, th that you can use with a small adapter that I showed you before that comes in the wristband uh, that uh, you can use to use it as a stand. So you put it like this and then you can um, incline your uh, portable TV so you can watch it while sitting on a table like this. And in the other side you get your standard um, antenna that you can move like this and you also get your D DC in vol uh, 6 volt port so you can plug it into the outlet, your headphone jack and this is very important right here, it also comes with an external antenna port uh, which is very important because this is the, the one that we're going to be using to connect uh, to a, a certain source and if you want to use this um, uh, this type of Sony Watchman uh, now in 2019 you might need to use this unless you want to use it with the over the air which is not really recommended but I'll also show you how to do that in, later in the video. Uh, there's nothing else much in the top and the bottom there's some certification but there, there was no uh, date of manufacturing here in the bottom. So to use your Sony Watchman now in 2019, you're going to need a couple of the different additional devices and cables and connectors. Uh, but first, make sure that your Watchman works, uh, at least it turns on, and also make sure that it has that external antenna port here on the side uh, that I showed you before, because that's the port that I we're going to be using in this video at least to make it work now in 2019. Uh, so I added some uh, uh, four AA batteries here in the back. And uh, I'm going to check if my Watchman at least works and it does look like it turns on just fine. Uh, so we don't have any more analog signal uh, over the air anymore. So you're just going to get a bunch of static. Uh, but just make sure that it turns on. You get the static in the, in the screen. Make sure that you can uh, switch around between VHF and UHF. And also make sure that your tuning wheel uh, turns and so you can, you're able to change channels. So in order to use your Sony Watchman now in 2019, you're going to need several different kinds of connectors and adapters. And I'll show you what you'll need in this uh, part of the video. So first of all, you'll need this 3.5 millimeter male to coax female adapter, which I was able to easily find on Amazon for, I, I got a two pack for only $7, so a really affordable price. And it looks almost like your headphone jack. Uh, in one side uh, and in the, in the other side you'll find like a coax connect, uh, connection or a female coax connection and here's the part number in case you want to find it also on Amazon but I'll put a link here in the description also in, in case you want to pick one up 
And you also need an indoor VHF transformer, which I found in Fry's for about $2. And I also found this, uh, it's called a Balloon uh, 300-275 ohm antenna matching transformer. And going back to this indoor VHF transformer, uh, like I said, I found it in Fry's for a really cheap price. And uh, it looks like this, and you'll plug it in like that into the uh, matching transformer. But I'll show you how to do that in a, in later in the video. Uh, you'll also need a standard coax cable, and in this case, the shorter the better. So I found this really short one and fries as well. And finally, you also need in an RF modulator. This is a device that essentially transform your signal, uh, transforms your signal to a, an RF signal. So we'll be using this RCA connectors as input, uh, connectors as input, and the exter or the output is going to be uh, an RF um, coax um, connection here on the left side of the RF modulator. So I was able to find one of these ones uh, for really cheap on the thrift store. You'll usually find one of these ones. Uh, but otherwise, you can also find some new ones in Amazon for a really affordable price. In the front, you can select between uh, using channel 3 or channel 4, which really doesn't make a, a difference in, you, in case uh, you want to use uh, either uh, channel. And also, you will need an uh, input source. And in this case, I'm going to be using an old... A Sony Handycam or a camcorder. This is a Hi8 tape camcorder and you don't have to use this. I'm, the only reason why I'm using this kind of old camcorder is because it has an uh, audio video output and in this case I'm going to be using an, a Sony CCD TRV138 that comes in with and this is very important, it comes in with a um, it's audio video cables. So you can plug in one side of the, the jack or the cable to your camcorder and it outputs the uh, audio video signal to a standard RCA cable which you can use to plug into the RF modulator. So now that you have all the, uh, all the items that you will need, I'm going to show you how to connect uh, or to uh, put everything in place to connect, it, to connect it into the external antenna port of your Sony Watchman. So what you'll do is you grab your 3.5 millimeter adapter and plug it in into the uh, antenna matching transformer like this. So it just plugs in like that. And um, you will also use your UHF, VHF matching transformer. And it has this uh, small arms that you'll put in into the inner connectors of the matching transformer like that. Uh, so just place the connectors like that in between the connectors of the matching transformer. Uh, it may take a couple of tries, but uh, it's not really that difficult to put them in like this. And you also need a, a screwdriver uh, to make sure that the connectors are uh, secured in place like this. Uh, so just screw them in with your standard screwdriver and uh, standard uh, screws. So make sure that the connections are secure and that everything uh, fits uh, nicely in the connection. And what you'll need is also your uh, coax cable. And like I said before, the shorter the better. Uh, you'll see later in the video why it's better to have a shorter cable. And what you'll do is you'll connect it to the other side of the VHF transformer like this. Just connects like your standard coax uh, connection. So next, uh, you will have your, once you have your connection made, you will have to use your RF modulator. And uh, what you'll do is you'll plug in the other end of the coax cable into the port that says 2TV. Uh, because that's going to be the connection that, or the RF signal uh, that goes into your portable television. And uh, so you'll screw it in uh, like a regular coax connection here on the back of the RF modulator. And once it's done, you'll have all your connections that you'll need to connect to your Sony Watchman or to the external, uh, external antenna port of your Sony Watchman. And now for your input source, like I said before, I'm going to be using this uh, Sony uh, a Sony Handycam camcorder. It's a Hi8 old um, camcorder, essentially just because it uh, it was the uh, the one that it comes with a uh, audio video signal here on the side, which you can easily easily use on with the, using this cable. Mm -hmm. uh, but essentially, you you can use any kind of uh, input source, uh, such as. Um, a newer digital TV, but make sure that if you use a digital connection or a digital source that you'll have to uh, transform the signal into an analog source. Uh, but in this case, it's all analog, so I'll be connecting it like this using the RCA connections in the back of the RF modulator. 
So I just turned on my, uh, my camcorder, which gonna, is going to be used as my input signal uh, for, for this test. And what you'll do is you'll plug in your uh, RCA or your 3.5 millimeter connector or adapter into the side of your Watchman. And just change the channel to channel 3, which is the channel that I have set up my RF modulator. Uh, and you'll get the input signal from your camcorder. As, and as you can see, it can it can it works really well. Uh, it, it's actually a little bit glitchy because the connectors can move around a little bit. But make sure that your connections are tight and secure, and it should work just fine using the external antenna ad, uh, connection on the side of, of your Watchman. And just to show you around, uh, moving around the camcorder to make sure that the it is the right signal that is catching or, or that is uh, being input into the Watchman. And as you can see, it's a small screen. It's only 2.7 inches of a screen, uh, and it is all in black and white. Uh, so it's not really the most high-tech kind of device out there, but it is still cool to see how it works. And uh, the signal, you might not be able to see it very well here in the uh, using my camera. Uh, but it's actually a lot clearer uh, compared to what I thought it would be, especially for such an old uh, portable television from the 80s. Uh, it works really well. You can see with uh, very um, with a lot of detail all the different um, uh, all the, the or the image in the screen. So uh, before ending the video, I wanted to show you how to use uh, the Watchman uh, with an over-the-air signal. And you, what you'll need is a, a standard uh, antenna that you can, or a digital antenna you, that you can find for really cheap online on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for this one, uh, but it, it should be one that has an amplifier and um, here in the in the other end of the antenna. And uh, essentially, you can do this as long as you know that the signal is just going to keep inside of your house. Uh, make sure that you don't do it if your antenna is going to be broadcasting outside of your house. Uh, so just keep that as a disclaimer. I don't encourage anybody to do this um, with a very powerful type of, um, of uh, signal amplifier. Uh, so just keep in mind on that, uh, that this is only for educational purposes. And the way you'll do is you'll use your same uh, kind of connection or input connection with your RF modulator on. And uh, what you'll do is you'll, you'll connect the amplifier of the antenna. Uh, instead of going in, into the TV, you'll use the you'll be amplifying the signal from your input source. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll use the other end of the signal amplifier. Uh, to plug in uh, the uh, the other end of the RF modulator. In this case, I'm just going to use the same uh, small cable or coax cable that I used in the previous example, and uh, the other end the other end is going to go again to the two TV uh, uh, port of the RF modulator like this. And again, I have my same Handycam or Sony Handycam uh, source as the input for this example. And what it will do is it will connect or transform the signal from your camcorder into the uh, RF signal that will go into the amplifier, which will amplify the signal. And the other end of the amplifier, you kind of have to use this uh, kind of like a coupler. Well, you'll have, uh, you can find one of these adapters uh, for really cheap online or on fries. Uh, you'll essentially be plugging in into the other end of your antenna or your digital antenna. And let's see if I can focus the image right here. Uh, it's kind of like a standard uh, coax cable adapter uh, that you'll use to plug in from a male uh, connector to another male connector like this. And the signal is going to be uh, amplified and it's going to go to your um, uh, H or to, I guess, to your digital antenna. And as soon as you have that, you're going to be uh, transmitting the, air, the, the signal over the air. So let's see, or it's going to be an, at least an RF signal. So you should be able to catch it uh, using your Sony Watchman. So let's go ahead and turn on my Watchman. And what you'll do is, again, uh, turn on your Watchman and set it on, again, on channel 3, which is the channel that you're going to be using on your RF modulator. And then there you go. You get a signal, again, from the uh, Sony Handycam. And in this case, uh, it's not wired to anything. You don't have to use the the adapters and the cable or anything like that, you can just move around freely, freely using the, the Watchman. And it's using the antenna that comes in the, the Watchman uh, as well. And just to, so you can see, I don't know if you can see there, but the image is definitely not uh, not as good as compared to when it was hardwired and we're using the adapters, uh, like I showed you before. It's definitely because the signal is a little bit lossier using the over-the-air antenna. Uh, but it's really cool to see how you can still use this Watchman as a portable device. And again, you don't have to use the uh, Sony camcorder. 
uh, for this case, uh, you can use it, use it uh, using a, uh, an old DVD player or anything like that. I'm just using this one as an example uh, because it's easier to just show. So if I unplug it, it just uh, the signal goes away. Uh, obviously, because there's no input signal from the from the the camcorder. So really cool to see that you can still use the Watchman in 2019. Thank you for watching.